Hello students, welcome to your class. This is your mathematics class and today we will do math pre-primer book. Okay, today we will do pre-primer book. This is our first pre-primer class. So today we will do some fun. Today we will learn about comparisons. When we compare two things together, that is comparison. Mostly we compare with opposite words. So today we will do three comparison words. Okay. First we will do big and small. First we will do big and small. Okay. In your book you can see there are two pictures given. One is of a mother cow and another is of a baby. That is calf. Baby cow. That is calf. Okay. So the mother cow is very big. And the baby cow or the calf is very small. Right? Like you are small and your mother is big. In the same way, mother cow is very big and the baby cow or the calf is very small. Let's see a few other pictures also. This is a big kite and that is a small kite. Right? This is a big kite and that is a small kite. Let's see another one. This is a very big animal. Which animal it is? It's an elephant. It is very big. This is an elephant. It is very big. And that's a rat. That is very small. The rat is very small. Right? So, now you have understood big and small. Right? Now, we will do here. Here, some exercise is given. Do you have color pencils? So, use the color pencils now. Here, you have to color the biggest kite. Among these two kites, which kite is big, you have to color that kite. Okay? Big kite. Remember, you have to color only the big kite. So, the biggest kite you will color. Which color? Whatever color you like. You can use blue, you can use green, you can use red. Whatever color you like, you will color the biggest kite. Okay? And here, among these two cat dogs, this is a big dog, this is a small dog, right? Among these two dogs, you will color the small one. You will color the small puppy. Okay? And you will color the small one, small puppy. Among these kites, you will color the big one and among these two puppies you will color the small one whatever color you like okay i will check how beautifully you can color when i will take the books okay so let's go to the next page now this is the comparison between long and short the comparison between long and short right so Let's, can you see here, here is a snake and this is a caterpillar. Caterpillar, have you seen caterpillar? This is a caterpillar. They become butterfly later. They become butterfly later. When they are small, they become, they are in caterpillar and this caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Isn't that amazing? Right. The snakes are very big. But the caterpillars are very small, this much small. Okay, caterpillars are this much small. So, the caterpillar is very short, very short or you can say very small or short. But the snakes are very long. Snakes are very long and the caterpillar is very short. Okay, see a few other pictures. Okay, this is a very big rope. This is a very big rope and that is a short rope. That is a short rope. So, you can say this rope is long and that rope is short. You can say this rope is long and that rope is short. Let's see another one. This is a very big stick. This is a very big stick and that stick is very small, right? So, you can say this is a long stick and that is a short stick. 
this is a long stick and that is a short stick right so these are the difference between this is the difference between long and short now you have to do some works here you can see this is a train and this is a bus so what is long and which one is short yes the train is long and the bus is short so what you have to do you have to put a tick mark for the long and you have to put a cross mark for the small object so you will put a tick mark for train and you will put a cross mark for bus here you can see two pencils are given which pencil is long you will put a tick mark and which pencil is short you will put a cross mark okay here two combs are given two combs one is pink and another is yellow so which comb is long you will put a tick mark and which comb is short you will put a cross mark here two ropes are given right so which rope is long you will put a tick mark and which rope is small you will put a cross mark right so these two pages you will do today this one and this one page number 3 and page number 4 these two pages you will learn very well you will do the works you can use your color pencil to put the tick and cross and you you will color these pictures okay hope you have understand hope you have understand what you have to do you will watch this video and you will do the works okay thank you for watching